Okay, let's do an example involving electrical potential energy. Uh, so let's do this example where we have an object with a mass of 2 micrograms and a charge of 5 nanocoulombs, and it has a speed of 50 meters per second at some point where the electric potential happens to be 0 volts. And it moves to a point where the electric potential is 500 volts. We want to know what is the speed at that point. So, as with any energy type problem, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture of what's going on, of course. So, let's start by drawing a picture of the initial point where we have a charge Q moving at some initial speed of 50 meters per second. And we're told that the potential there is 0 volts. And then the final state is we have our charge Q moving with some final velocity, which we don't know, and there's a final potential, which we're told is 500 volts. And that's all we know from what we're told in the problem statement. So before we go much further, I think we have enough to list the things that we know and the things that we want to find. So let's list the things we know. So the mass is 2.0 micrograms. Now you should be careful with 2 micrograms because 2 micrograms is really 2 times 10 to the minus 6 grams. But you should be careful because you don't want to put things in grams, you want things in kilograms. And so converting this into kilograms really becomes 2 times 10 to the negative 9 kilograms. We're told the charge on this little bit of charge, it's 5 nanocoulombs, or writing that out in SI units, 5 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. We're told the initial speed, which is 50 meters per second, the initial potential, which is 0 volts, the final potential, which is 500 volts. And what we want to find is we want to find this final speed, Vf, which is pretty much the only thing in our diagram that we haven't that we don't know. Okay, so how should we solve this? So we want to use the conservation of energy. And in conservation of energy, we're going to have to use the idea that there is electrical potential energy, which is the charge times the potential at a given point. So we can list the energies. The initial energy is the potential energy initially and the kinetic energy initially which we can write as Q times the initial potential plus the initial kinetic energy, one-half V initial squared. And the final energy is then it's the same thing, except we put a F subscript for final on all of these. So Q times final potential plus one-half M speed VF squared. Conservation of energy tells us that the initial energy is equal to the final energy. So we set these things equal to each other, and then we solve for what we want to know. And in this case, we want to solve for the final speed Vf. So we solve for the final speed Vf. We move some things on one side and some things on the other side. So let's move the potential over, the final potential over to there. So we get an expression that looks like this. and. So let's plug in some numbers so we can see uh, just what this looks like. So we actually get that the energies, the uh, potential energy cancels against kinetic energy. So we have one half mass times the final velocity squared is equal to zero. So the final velocity is equal to zero. Particle actually stops at this position. And that's what we were asked to find. Now we should ask, does this make sense? And indeed, it makes sense that the final velocity is smaller than the initial velocity because we're gaining potential energy. So everything seems to make sense, so it looks like we're good. The final velocity was zero in this particular case.